Hello everyone, welcome back to the Quain Housewife YouTube channel. I'm happy to announce that today's video is sponsored by Piggy and eBay. More about them a little bit later in the video. Well, I like to combine my exercise and my household duty, so that usually involves walking to the store and walking back with my goods. So today I was going to walk to the grocery store to buy some granola. But my sneakers are entirely worn out now. So uh, not only do I have to buy new sneakers, but I am going to use this as an excuse to make homemade granola, which I should be doing anyway because it saves a lot of money. So I'm going to do that along with a couple of other things and that's going to keep me in the kitchen pretty much all day today. I'm just going to show you really quickly these sneakers that I have to replace. Now the good thing is that they lasted for five years and another good thing is I get to go shopping again. <laughs> it's a little bit my fault because I tend to wear them everywhere I go. Um, on streets, on roads, I even go hiking with them, but uh, that's what I use my shoes for, multi-purpose. You can see like on the side here, they're worn out and there's actually, I've realized, holes in the bottom. So these are um, basically finished for. So I'm just going to wait for a good sale to get a new pair. I think I'm going to make vanilla granola today. I like to make a number of different flavors, but for some reason today I'm just in the mood for vanilla and it's kind of a favorite in the house. So I'm just going to show you a few of the ingredients that uh, go into making this granola. The thing that makes homemade granola affordable to make is that the main ingredient is oats. And a few of the ingredients can be expensive like the vanilla extract, but that goes far in recipes. The almonds, they can be a little expensive, but that also goes far in recipes too. And I think cinnamon is pretty affordable. You can even find that in the dollar store. And you can even find imitation vanilla in the dollar store if you like the taste of it. So I'm going to show you the granola when it's done out of the oven. All right, well here is my homemade granola and I am so excited to eat this this morning. If you notice, I don't really have a lot of big chunks in it because to me it's like it gets just too hard to break down and eat when it's chunky so I try to um, make it a little more thinned out. So let's, let's taste this together. Well, even though I made this vanilla almond granola to be eaten by itself with milk, I gave in to temptation and I'm going to top it with some other things I found in the pantry. So I am going to add some coconut flakes in here as well as some cranberries and I can just feel the calories piling on right now. <laughs> And finally, I'm going to put some of this cashew milk on, and then I'm going to taste it. Let's give this vanilla almond granola with coconut flakes and dried cranberries and cashew milk a nice hearty taste. Granola really does have a lot of calories but it seems to be really satisfying so I don't really feel too guilty eating and I have lost about 50 pounds uh, over time so I uh, I guess it's okay to say I deserve it right all right here we go mmm you know I never added um, cranberries and coconut together before. And I don't know why, because this is just really good. Mm. 
If you would like, tell me in the comments below what is your favorite kind of cereal or granola that you like to eat. I actually like peanut butter flavored granola, which I also sometimes make homemade. That's probably my favorite cereal flavor for breakfast. To me, nothing says living the quaint life more than cooking from scratch with herbs and spices, which is why I have a cabinet full of them. And I am going to show you how disorganized the cabinet is and one of my goals today is really to get it straightened out and consolidate any empty jars, get rid of them, and just really make optimal use of my urban spice cabinet, especially so I can find things when I really need them and not f be fishing around for them for 10 minutes. Well, I've been shopping at eBay for about 20 years and I decided I'm just going to buy my new sneakers from there. I heard a lot about cashback apps and I wanted to know if there was one that included eBay and how much cashback I could get for shopping there. So I did some research and I found the Piggy desktop app and I'm going to tell you about that right now. Now I'm going to tell you specifically why I like Piggy more than other cashback apps I've seen. So first of all, when I type in eBay, it tells me immediately the cashback that I can earn up to and I'm not even signed in. That was a problem with a number of these other cashback apps. They wanted me to sign in and sign up before they would tell me what cashback percentage I could get. In addition, uh, these other apps, some of them did not give cashback at eBay at all and others offered half to 1%, but I've got 3% here currently for eBay, so that is what I'm going with. I am going with Piggy. To get the Piggy app, you can just look here where it says never overpay again, and then click add to Chrome. And just within a couple of clicks, you will have uh, this app installed into your browser and you can use it at just so many stores across the web to get cash back on your purchases. It's really very valuable. Now when I'm ready to buy my sneakers at eBay, what I do is click on visit store right here and then click on the extension icon and activate up to 3% cash back. And so there we go. I have 3% cash back activated and that's all that needs to be done because when you make a purchase, um, the cash back will be given as well as uh, any discount, any coupon that can be applied because Piggy scours the web to get you discounts on your purchases. I am really excited to get my new sneakers so I can comfortably go on my long walks again, but I am actually going to wait until August 31st, the day this video is published, to buy my sneakers on eBay because Piggy and eBay together are jointly offering a 25% discount on 25 favorite brands to celebrate eBay's 25th birthday. That's a really big deal. And if you are interested in getting this discount as well as earning up to 3% cash back through Piggy, please see the link below my video. And I will also have all those brands listed that are included in the 25% discount. This runs from August 31st through September 7th. A big thank you to Piggy and eBay for sponsoring my video. I just have so much stuff in this 
cabinet. So my problem here is, as I said, just a lot of stuff kind of shoved together. I have some small bottles behind the really large ones. And I don't know if anything is expired here. For dried herbs and spices, I don't really pay attention to the expiration dates for those, but maybe some of, um, some of these liquid flavorings. I would. So let's get go over some of my favorite herbs and spices. Okay, I think my absolute favorite one is back here. And I've told you guys about this before. Sumac, right here. Sumac is just so delicious. It tastes like a cross between lemon and paprika. And in things like salads and marinades, you could use it in place of lemon flavoring. It's just, but it's not liquid. That's the thing. But anyway, it's just, it just gives a, a wonderful tang to foods. And I think I got this jar like a couple of months ago. And I just, I use it so fast. <laughs> I really wish I could just buy this. I mean, buy the truckload. It is so good. Okay, so we have the sumac. I'm going to take that one out. Now, there's a few things in here I bought, I think, from some, something like uh, Big Lots or something like that that I don't really use much. I do use ground mustard sometimes for meatloaf and things like that lemon pepper seasoning i don't really use this much because it seems like it's pre-mixed i don't really know if it is there's some things in there but i would rather just use regular lemon rather than some of the pre-mixed items so i don't really use that much this actually might be somewhat expired because it's kind of stiff I think it, it probably is a little caked over. I always get giant jars of cinnamon and black pepper and paprika, which I'm out of this. I think I got a little jar for a, do a dollar. And another thing I do for baking soda, I get the big boxes and put them, I put it in these small jars. So, but I keep it in here so I can refill it easily. One thing that lasts a long time in our house is the cayenne pepper because it's so strong. This is probably at least a couple of years old. So, yeah. <laughs> there are some things that just last forever because they're really strong. So this is an item I don't get too much, but I like to use is caraway seed. This is great for making your own breads like rolls and rye bread caraway seeds just just give that nutty crunchy texture it makes it seem like special bakery bought bread but it's even better because it's homemade right nothing beats homemade okay this is a refill bottle for pepper all right so basically you can see i really need to reorganize this so i'll show you what it looks like when i am done i don't really use these jars in the back much anymore so i'm just going to put them all lined up back there so they're not taking up room in the front and if i want to use them they're there and this shelf looked pretty bad here from some of the bottoms of the jars so i am just going to get this as clean as i can Okay, here is my reorganized cabinet. This is reorganized according somewhat to usage. Down here are the herbs and spices that we used most frequently. Up here are items that are a little bit more of a backup, like some of the larger items. The top is, a lot of that is for baking. The upper right here, um, are items we don't really use as often. I can't remember the last time I used the soul food seasoning. I know my husband uses that 
a lot more than I do. Cayenne pepper, as I mentioned, we don't use a lot. Um, so the um, sea salt and the chicken bouillon, I use a lot, but they're large items, so I stored them here. I've got a big tub of turmeric right here that refills this one right here. I got my sumac, crushed red pepper flakes, gotta have those, I love to put that on a lot of things, Italian seasoning. We got our honey here, got some cooking spray right there. So this is kind of organized, like I said, for convenience. I clean the shelves and um, I'm, I'm really proud that I did this. I, I've needed to do this for a long time. So I'd like to hear about some of your kitchen projects that you have to do. You can also comment on that. Love to hear about it. I also have to organize and clean out my freezer and just cook from what I find here um, and just try to reorganize it consolidate it and make this look better and I think I'm going to show you how I clean this out and what it looks like in my next video and I'm going to take care of the refrigerator too which is probably a bigger nightmare well my last challenge of the day is to find a way to use up this 10 pound bag of potatoes before they go bad so in my next video or one of my following videos you'll probably see um, me using a lot of potatoes, some recipes. So that's it for me for now. I would love to hear uh, anything you have to say in the comments and I will talk to you soon and see you in my next video. Take care.